Hi guys, uh, I know I haven't made a personal video in a while. I apologize for that, but I really didn't know what I wanted to talk about. Uh, but recently, my brother got engaged, which was pretty cool. Congrats to him. And I'm saying, woo! Um, and you know, I started to recall how tough it was uh, to be a bachelor uh, pretty much anywhere in the world. Uh, you know, in earlier videos, I talked about when we're 18 and how we try to look for those milestones of college and that first job. Uh, and of course, I touched upon very briefly that first girlfriend um, or boyfriend or whatever, right? Uh, but for all intents and purposes, what I really wanted to chat about now is, you know, when a lot of us are younger, we're always looking for that special someone. There's a big hurdle around it. There's a lot of stuff out there telling you what to do, what not to do. Um, so I kind of wanted to put my spin on it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree uh, at all for whatever reason. But uh, basically, in a nutshell, ignore the opposite sex, okay? Um, hear me out, of course, uh, on what I want to say, but I'll say it again. One more time! Ignore the opposite sex. Woo! Uh, finding that special lady is tough, um, and I think a lot of us go through it the wrong way. Since you've been waiting for this person, this romantic, sweet, awesome person that's gonna come and, uh, you know, make your life better, uh, you put a lot of pressure on that person. How does this extra pressure affect you? All the romantic Bollywood movies, all the dreamy, sexy vacations you see your friends take online when they get a girlfriend, uh, all the cool stuff you do, you know, behind the bedroom. I'm the man. Uh, you think that's really gonna finally give your life some purpose? Uh, reality check. It's not. We all have that one lady friend who probably receives like 80 messages a day from dudes. Uh, some of us may have been that dude. I'm the man. Uh, but you know, for the majority of us, you know, I'd say a lot of guys between 22 and 28, once we're kind of settled in uh, professionally and you know, we start to kind of look towards those girls and uh, we come home, we eat, you know, we get depressed, we check out uh, who's doing what, who's dating what. Now the problem with that is it's pretty toxic. Uh, think about what you're actually uh, telling yourself. Repeat after me. Uh, some of this may be true, some of this may not be true, but repeat after me. Uh, I am unhappy and I am hoping somebody else will come along and fix that. You're gonna be mine! Did you repeat it? You totally didn't, did you? I know people are around you, right? It's kind of awkward. Um, but think about what you just said and how crazy uh, that would have sounded. That is a, a really, really bad way to think about getting into a relationship. I think I've made that mistake. I think we've all made that mistake or probably will make that mistake, which is what I'm trying to tell you. Let me go on record. Well, the obvious question is, how do you get happy? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know each of you who might be watching this. I don't even really know myself how to, you know, what happiness is per se. Um, but I can tell you, uh, although you may not be easily able to find out what makes you happy, you can very easily find out what makes you unhappy. Uh, I think most of us very clearly know what makes us unhappy. You know, if we're in jobs we don't like, if we have some issues with our family, or if we hang out with people that we're trying to impress for all the wrong reasons. Uh, those are things that a majority of us, they're tough questions and they're things that a lot of us don't do for whatever reasons. You know, a lot of our parents may be stuck in jobs they didn't like uh, because they wanted us to have the luxury to able to, you know, be able to choose between the two in this generation. Who knows? But what I am saying is once you start to eliminate uh, what makes you unhappy, uh, you stop doing those things and you slowly uh, narrow it down to something eventually that will probably make you whatever happiness really is which I think is kind of cool, right? And happiness is contagious. When people start seeing you do well, they want to be around you, you know? You start to be around like-minded individuals. So basically, long story short, you stop focusing on just getting the girl and start searching for what really makes you excited about living your day-to-day -day life. Today, right here. Uh, once you stop doing all that, uh, they will come to you and it will happen. I promise.